Meanwhile, from a gangster to inspirational speaker, welcome Red Boy aims to prevent the next generation from following the path he's left behind. From the Cape Flats to El Dorado Park, gangs rule the corners. Living by the code of guns and knives, it's a life many spill blood for. Valcom Vitboy was one of them. I was um, 17 years old when I was sent to prison. I was sentenced to 23 years in prison and I uh, did 14 years while in prison. Um, while in there, I also became um, a high-ranking um, member of the 28 Numbers Gang. Um, and that's basically who Welcome was. He was the first star general in the 28th, one of the notorious number gangs. I joined the gangs when I was 12 years old. And these guys standing on the corners and bullying and pushing people around were the more respected guys. And they always had the clothes, they always had the tackies, they always had the money. And what, when they asked people for things, people would always give. So I envied them. Um, as much as they bullied me, a part of me wanted to be like them. And that decision that I made at that moment to step out of the gangs was the best decision of my life. And from that but boy left behind that life when he walked out of prison and has tried to help his community. Vertboy and his team currently hold programs in Westbury, one of the areas fighting gangsterism. We are faced with gang glorification, where gangs are more glorified instead of being addressed and making their kids more aware of. Um, I think kids are in a society right now where they want to amount to something. So most of our kids are, are, are drawn into that. But it's where we as, 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 as an organization come to the fore and says, but who are you as a child and what do you want to achieve growing up? He urges parents especially to be aware of this underworld that wakes up when most people go to sleep. If a child comes home with a pair of tackies, the mother must ask, I didn't buy those tackies, where did you get them? But we see in our communities, kids come home with cell phones, kids come home with tackies, kids come home with fancy clothes. Parents don't ask those questions. Only to find out later on when the police comes knocking at the door to say, but we're looking for welcome. And then the mother is shocked and surprised, but why are you looking for my son? No, he was involved in a kidnapping, or he was involved in an armed robbery, or was involved in a hijacking. And then we are shocked as parents, because how could we not have seen that? But the signs were there. Government is also working on interventions. The provincial commissioner of uh, Gauteng, what she, she have done, she have formed a, a team of investigating officers, including the intelligence and the other uh, stakeholders who are following up this gangsterism. As gangsterism continues to terrorize communities, people like Vitboy hope to help the next generation. Hasina Gori, SABC News, Johannesburg.